Welcome to C.4.2, part of the Chemistry and Industry option. Here we're going to outline the advantages and disadvantages of homogeneous and heterogeneous catalysts. So in the previous video, um, you would have learned that homogeneous catalysts are where the reactants and the catalysts are in the same state or phase, and this is often liquid-liquid. And the heterogeneous catalyst is when you have um, the catalyst and reactants in different phases or states and, and usually that would mean you would have a solid state catalyst um, with a gas phased um, reactant um, passing by it and adsorbing. So let's compare the reaction rates. Well if we think about it, if it's sort of dissolved or aqueous, um, we have all of the different particles floating around and they're able to hit each other from all different sides. So um, all of the catalyst is exposed and this allows for a somewhat faster reaction than what we would see in the heterogeneous catalyst because again it has the reactants have to adsorb to the surface and so if there's any metal catalyst below the surface it actually cannot um, interact with the reactants so um, that means it's going to be a little bit slower and, and if you want to compensate you need to have more area for the reaction or for the active sites to, to do the reaction. Now poisoning, uh, this is something if you watch our next video, C.4.3, you'll get to see this um, in the video. Um, poisoning is not an issue, um, but let's describe what it is. It is an issue in heterogeneous catalysts, so it's a disadvantage. Um, so poisoning means there's a residue on the surface of your catalyst, and um, that blocks your active site, so therefore, um, reduces the um, effectiveness of your catalyst. Now in terms of filtration, um, in other words, sort of separating your catalyst from your products, uh, because depending how you build it, um, they may end up getting mixed together. So if you have both of them in the same state, um, it's going to be a little bit more difficult to filter those from each other. But if they're in different states, um, it's quite easy to separate the solids from the gases. Um, not a problem there. Now, in terms of range of options, in, in other words, you know, if you if you went to a um, book and you and it listed all of the different catalysts there are, um, you usually have fewer options with homogeneous catalysts, and that's because a lot of our catalysts are the transition metals, which are solid. Um, and so they don't work so well um, in this case. And the, but if we go over to the heterogeneous catalyst, there are more options as all those transition metals, or not all of them, but several transition metals can be used as a catalyst. Not all uh, transition metals are good catalysts. Some are too weak, like um, silver, um, to act as good catalysts.